Okay, we're right, back, and ready. this is kind of uh, feeling a little pressure here. <laughs> All right, okay. take your yolk. Take my yolk here. Yeah, and then we're going to add in our vinegar and water. Okay. Because okay, remember, we need we need uh, water uh, to wrap our egg yolk around or our fat around. Okay. So there's our, our base liquid. We're going to add a little bit of salt into this. I'll give you a little bit. Thank you. All right. All right. Now. Um, <laughs> What we want to do is we want to put it over heat, and this is where we want to be very careful about scrambling the egg. You don't want to scramble it. So what we want to do is we want to uh, take this to the consistency oh. of warm pudding. Okay? okay. Now, if it gets a little warm, I'm just going to lift that bowl right off. Okay? So I want to make sure that my pot that I have covers about maybe a half of the bowl. All right? So you're doing pretty well there. Okay. Make sure you're, you know, you're, you're going all the way around. Okay. Very good. Um, I'm cheating profusely here, looking <laughs> over here. That's all right. Okay. All right. So now um, I'm looking again. Now I'm getting to a point where I'm about ready to start adding my. So look at my consistency of that now. All right. Do you see that? So uh, no, you want to go a there. little thicker. All right. I'm not there. So now I'm killing my heat. All right. Okay. The heat's, now I'm killing it. I'm not gonna add any more heat. I still have bubbles in mine. It's okay. Let me see your water temperature. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Oh, you're close, you're close. Okay. Take that off, yeah. So let's take it off now, all right. Okay. So we're gonna kill that heat. Keep right, stirring. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put my heat, so see the consistency there? It's not scrambled. See, it's kind of ribbony. All right. You're close, you're close. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna swirl my butter around. Now, I just took butter and I melted it. Some people like to use clarified butter. Um, I like to use the butter because it has the whey in it. All right, so you're ready to go on top of your pot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly, first, at first, slowly bring the butter into it, slowly. So once I get that butter in there and I slowly start bringing it in, I can go a little quicker. Now, if it gets real thick on me, I can add a little water into that, okay? You've gone way too fast and you broke it. And what? You broke it. Oh, come on. Which, which is good, it's, which is good, because we can repair it. We can. We have the technology. <laughs> I it was doing okay. <laughs> so but right, I still got to keep pouring. Well, well, no, you might as well just stop now, because uh, it's, look, see how, see how it's greasy? See how mine's you know, thicker? Yeah. All right. So, you know, what happens is you probably added it too quickly in at first, and then it couldn't. So, what what what, what happened is that you do you you uh, introduce too much fat too quickly, and then that caused that sauce to separate from the the water. So, I don't care how much you whisk, it oh, is it's, never going to come oh, back. Really? Right. right. So, what you would do? So, if you're at home and this happens to you, you're going to get a brand new bowl a brand new whisk. And uh, you're gonna do the same starting process that we did in the very beginning. All right, so remember, we started with a yolk, yep. and we started with the, the, the vinegar and the water. Right. And then we, you know, oh, yeah, we yeah. made it, and then, so then uh, we're gonna start that whole process over, and then, um, you know, we'll, we'll do it again. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my uh, hollandaise here, just a little bit. Yeah, you're just now where I'm at as far as poured it in. Yep. Too much, too soon. And then, uh, so I don't know if, I can, if I'm on the camera right or not. Yeah. I'm trying to get it there. So now see how that's gonna be more mayonnaise-like? Yep. Now what I'm looking for on the edges as well is if it gets, like I, I see a little buildup of, of oil on the edge. If I do see that, I'm gonna introduce a little bit more water. You, can we turn you this way? Sure, yeah. Oh, there's the camera. Oh, that yeah. camera, okay. Oh, oh, of course, that camera. I don't know, there's so many cameras around here, I never know. Well, I might <laughs> might not be able to make hollandaise, but I know what well, camera you know, you know your is tight shot. I know my damn camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm getting to that point where the whey of that butter is starting to come into my sauce, which I'm okay with because there's two reasons. One is it has salt in it. The other reason is that it's gonna help thin out my hollandaise if it's too thick. But I like the hollandaise at its consistency right now. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna taste my hollandaise. Oh, it looks good. It, it... Now, 
I'm going to introduce a little lemon. Okay, just a little. So this is where I add the lemon in. I'm not adding it in the beginning, but at the end. And then I'm going to add just maybe a little bit more of the way. And when you make your hollandaise hot like this, you're also going to it holds much better. Okay, so there we go. Very nice. And then we can put it right over. Oh, look at that. And this is for you. <laughs> All right. Now, um, go ahead and try that. Okay. Now, let's say you wanted to make baronets. We'll do this on another episode, but we'll take our hollandaise. And I, here I have a red wine, uh, tarragon and shallot reduction. Take that down to dry, and then I add it into my hollandaise. So I'll let you try that while I reduce this down. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So hopefully that answered the question. Yep. Uh, uh, again, you know, for me to come up with 104 recipes a year, um, I need your help. So please send in any uh, you know, recommendations, any requests, any suggestions you want to see, and we'll do it. Couldn't have summarized it any better. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you on our next episode.